everyone, lovely to see you again. I'm Christina Astin and this is the second of my vlogs for Partnerships Week, which we're celebrating this week. Um, and I'm just gonna take a question about partnerships, particularly cross-sector partnerships that crops up very often. And today it's about resources. I very often hear people saying, well, you know, we're a small school or, you know, we're a state school with very limited capacity. How can we possibly find the time or the money to reach out to our neighbouring schools and, and work together? But, you know, just like the way that you would fund anything, whether it was, you know, a new curriculum resource or teacher CPD or some sports facility or sports equipment, uh, you always think about what you're going to gain from buying the resource um, and not just think of it as a drain. So what can we gain from the partnerships that we might make with local schools? I think if we focus on that, then um, the resources um, become less of a problem. And in any case, uh, building a relationship doesn't cost anything really, other than maybe a little bit of time and a tea bag or two. Um, so uh, let me give you a few uh, tips for making relationships and collaborations and partnerships that will be really effective without uh, costing too much or being a bit creative about costs. The first is think about the existing structures in your school week, in your school year that you could uh, repurpose um, for collaboration and partnership work. Um, structures and events and things that go on that you could do together with another school. So, for example, if you have staff inset once a term or once a week um, and you've got visiting uh, people coming in to, to deliver part of that, you know, why not team up with your local school and make that cost go a little bit further? Um, similarly, if you know that there's somebody coming into your local school and you want to invite yourselves along, that can be a great way of kick kickstarting a relationship. Um, maybe you have an activities afternoon once a week. Uh, could you repurpose some of those activities into partnership activities? And some schools do this amazingly well, where every Friday afternoon, pretty much every single student and member of staff is involved with, with partnerships work. Um, maybe you have CCF or D of E going on. Maybe you have visiting speakers. Maybe you've opened up your library. There are all sorts of events that you can ask the question, why can't we do this in conjunction with our local school? Secondly, um, teaming up with a third party organisation can be a really great way of offsetting some of the, the cost or the time taken to organise things. Local art galleries, local museums are so keen to, to, to reach out to schools. So perhaps that's a great way of doing, uh, doing that in partnership with a, another school. And then if you want to try and raise some money to offset some of the costs of minibuses, catering, whatever, um, why not ask some of your local uh, companies? Uh, they're often very keen to sponsor educational events. They just need the mechanism to do it. Um, and they're often quite willing to um, help you with the catering costs or printing T-shirts, especially if their logo goes on the back um, and so on. And that can really help to um, embed their relationship with the local community. Um, some schools have taken the step of adding an optional uh, donation for partnerships onto uh, school fees or tickets for, for performances, school performances, um, and all of this can, can help as well. And there are charities, grants, foundations that you can apply to to help with funding. Um, the one I'd really like to mention is HMCK which specifically funds cross-sector partnerships. So um, have, a, have a look, I'll put the link underneath the video. It's really important to make sure that the, the resourcing is there to keep the partnership sustained. It's nothing worse than starting a relationship and then having to stop. Um, and it can make it much more impactful if you, if you know that you're going to be able to sustain it into the future. Some schools have got together in um, larger groups, multi-school partnerships or formal, uh, regional partnerships, broad area, whatever you want to call them, where each school, state or independent, puts a certain amount of money into a central pot which pays for a neutral coordinator to um, manage the, the projects um, and the partnerships. Um, so that's another model that you, you might want to look at. Anyway, I hope that's given uh, a few tips and hints um, and that there's something useful there for you. 
Um, there's more on resourcing in the Partnerships Workbook, um, but love to hear your stories as well. And um, uh, I'll see you tomorrow for another vlog and I hope you're having a great Partnerships Week. Thank you.